Hey guys, uh, this vlog is for those of you who are participating in the fat loss study uh, regarding HCG. I wanted to do a little vlog talking about how to use the body fat monitor in the best way so you can get the best results with it. Um, so I'll just get right into it. Mine is kind of an old version of what you guys have, so but it works basically the same. Um, first of all, I want to tell you guys how to convert the body fat percent it gives you into pounds of fat. That is something that you guys need to do every day or if you're going to be only weighing and measuring once a week, you would do it once a week. Um, but that's an important part. So basically to do that, when you get the percentage, say it's say it's 35.5 percent body fat, you would uh, multiply your weight, your current weight, you know, say 160 pounds, um, times 35.5 percent and that's going to give you your pounds of fat and the way you enter that into the calculator would be 160 or whatever your weight is that day multiplied by 0.355 that would be for 35.5 percent so basically you just put the decimal at the beginning and then the percentage follows that um, whether it's 35 percent it would just be 0.35 um, if like I said if it was three numbers 35.5 just don't worry about that decimal, just always keep the decimal at the beginning and it would be 0.355. So that should give you your pounds of fat. Um, so it's, it's actually really simple, really easy. Um, the other thing is when you use it, try to keep all the circumstances around the way you use it the same. Um, so ideally you would do it um, on the same floor um, you know, socks or no socks, um, don't do it after a shower sometimes and then before a shower other times. It's really best to do it when you first wake up after you've used the restroom um, and then just to do it. Even if I were to, I've done this before, if I walk, say I get up, use the restroom, walk around for 10 minutes and then weigh and use the body fat monitor, um, the number I get is different. So really what we're looking for here is consistency and you'll get the most consistent numbers by keeping things as much the same as possible. Um, ideally it's great to do it around the same time every morning however I get up at different times throughout the week so I just do it whenever I get up. Sometimes that may be 6 15 in the morning sometimes it might be 9 or 10 o'clock so obviously there might be a little variation there but overall, since I track my stats every day, it, it really doesn't matter um, in the long run. But that is one thing that helps it be more consistent. Um, I do it either, I mean, you do it in the same clothes or no clothes. Sorry, TMI. Um, but just keep things as much the same as possible. Um, now, when you stand, when you use it, you can also obviously read the instructions that it came with. But you want to um, hold your arms out straight, not bent. You want them totally straight. And you want your arms at a 90 degree angle to your body. So if it's up or lower, um, the number will not be as accurate and, it, and, and you'll get too many variations. So just try to keep them straight out. And the way I do that is actually by um, pressing my shoulders down and that kind of makes your arms go out straight. So um, I hope that helps. Don't do it multiple times in a row. Just take the first number it gives you. <laughs> I am guilty of doing that, and you will get different numbers. It's I almost think like um, the little the spaces on the the handholds um, when they get warmer, you know, it might be different. So I know this sounds like not reliable the way I'm talking about it, but I'm telling you guys, I've been using this for nine months straight every single day. Okay, and I, overall has been very consistent and pretty accurate because um, I did use this to compare my um, I compared my hydrostatic body fat test results with this, and it, it was very close, very close. So, um, you know, like I said, I even use it at different times, you know, of the day. So, you know, as far as in the morning, don't you know use it after you eat. I think it says. Um, you, like it does give you some different times you could use it like say two hours after you eat and stuff like that but for our purposes just do it once in the morning right after you get up so we'll just keep it simple <laughs> um, anyway I'm trying to think if there's anything else regarding this I guess that's it if you guys have any more questions about how to use it let me know um, and just you know even before you start your round start using it if you are weigh weighing on a daily basis start using it just so that you can get a feel for that um, I want to give you an example. Um, my results on it were a lot more consistent when I'm on HCG. When I'm off of it, the variations are a little bit more. 
um, just because like for instance if I do CrossFit my weight even goes up like two pounds so there's more water retention and so obviously my body fat percent um, might actually go up that day so but see I've learned to understand how it works so I don't I don't panic about those things and I know that's just normal um, but just to give you an idea of the percentage changes a lot of times, mine actually tells me my pounds of fat in addition to my body fat percent. Um, it's too bad that the new ones don't do that. I, I don't know why they took that feature out. I, I love it. Because basically, even though the percentages might change a little bit, um, for instance, let me give you an example. For instance, a couple days... Um, well, like one day I was 130 pounds and I had 33 pounds of fat and that put me at 25.4% body fat. Um, and the next day I was 130.6 pounds and yet my pounds of fat was still 33 and my body fat percent was still 25.4. So even though my weight was up half a pound, the percentage in the pounds of fat was still the same as the day before. So that could seem like confusing, but... Basically, I'm telling you, if you use it frequently as I do every day, um, you'll see you'll see it gradually going down. That that's all you're really looking for. You're not you don't need to be concerned if it says you know one day 28.4 and the next day 28.2 and then the next day 28.4. Like, don't freak out if those tiny fluctuations. Basically, what you're looking for is when you're on the protocol. As you see your weight going down, overall, you want to see your fat going down. And so you want that's why you want to calculate your pounds of fat. Um, there are going to be days where it may stay the same, and that doesn't mean you need to freak out right away. Um, just to give you an example, my last round, um, I, I lost weight fairly consistently, but my pounds of fat sometimes would take a couple of days to drop. But it always would kind of catch up. And granted, I did lose a little muscle. Um, and, you know, that probably will happen, that you'll lose some. But you just want to try to be in control of it and try to lose as much fat as you can. And I do think there's factors that affect that, which is why I, I want to kind of have this information from this study. Um, if everyone followed the protocol as Dr. Simeons wrote it, you know, this maybe it wouldn't be necessary. But the truth is, people don't. <laughs> so, um, and I know we all want to think we're going to, um, but sometimes we we decide to try something else because we're desperate. You know, um, ideally, as Robin Woodall talked about in her book, Weight Loss Apocalypse, um, ideally you're going to get past that those issues and no longer rely on food. Um, but until we're all successful at doing that, um, if you are going to make a change, you want to find out if it's okay uh, for your body and for your fat loss to do that. For instance, um, my whole last round, I had 0% Faya yogurt. That is not protocol. However, I didn't have my fruits, so I was kind of replacing that. Um, now, just replacing calorie for calorie something doesn't mean it's, it's going to be okay. However, in this case, for me, the Faye worked out fine. I did track my body fat, and I did lose 90% fat this last round. Could I have lost 100% fat by not having the yogurt? Possibly. Um, you know, so the only way I would know that is maybe by experimenting next round with not doing that and having my fruits, you know. So, it, you know, it's hard to say when you only do things once what the results would have been if it had been different. And that's why it's so great for everyone to do the protocol the way they want. And, and just track the results. So, um, but back to what I was saying, my fat, um, for instance, at the beginning of the round, I it stayed at 43 pounds of fat for a couple of days, even though I lost 1.4 one day, but my fat stayed the same. Um, but then the next day I lost another 1.4, and then my, um, my fat dropped one pound. Um, and then the next day I was down 0.4, but my fat stayed the same. But then the next day I was down 0.6, but my fat dropped a whole pound. So see, sometimes your fat will drop more than your weight does. And, and that can very well be true. So, so just keep track of it. But if you start seeing yourself losing a lot of weight and your fat is staying the same for a week, like, be concerned about that, you know. So um, 
anyway, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I just wanted to kind of check in and kind of run through that since I know some of you guys are going to be starting to do that. Thank you so much for everyone who has expressed interest. I don't even know the number right now. I'm going to make a little spreadsheet of everyone's names and who has uh, wanting to be a part of it. But I think it's somewhere around 20 or 25. So I'm really excited about that. And I'll talk to you guys soon.